everybody who was here yesterday already and welcome to the people who weren't here yesterday already. Um, I hope you are uh, awake already and uh, so that we can start at the next presentation, the first presentation of today. Uh, Sebastian is uh, from Bitalo, Ag Ag P Bitalo Predictions. Um, Martin Albert gave a presentation at the previous Bitcoin France. To be honest, I'm not. Uh, 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 I forgot what the exact subject was uh, right now, but uh, he told about oh yeah, multi signature wallets. Right. And uh, so uh, that's why you're now going to tell about predicting the Bitcoin price. If I uh, say it right. So uh, please, a, a big applause for uh, Sebastian from Vitalo IG. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Good morning. Um, yeah, I'm Sebastian from Vitalo. Uh, Vitalo is a um, company that develops a multi-signature multi -signature wallet and offering a few services around this, uh, for instance, the exchange. And, um, we found that Bitalo, uh, Bitalo predictions or Bitcoin predict for predicting the Bitcoin price, just as an extra uh, uh, as an extra gimmick for, for the Bitcoin community. And uh, I want to introduce you to Bitcoin predict. Um, the motivation is, as you all know, the Bitcoin price is really volatile, lots of change in a short period of time, and uh, it's hard to predict it. And um, we already have some cool solutions. I don't know, do you know uh, BTC predictions? Um, it's a very sophisticated uh, statistical model based on neural networks and uh, trying to uh, um, uh, give good predictions from the short time Bitcoin price. It works very good, I, I think. Uh, but the problem of all, uh, of all existing solutions is uh, they use statistic, statistic methods. It means uh, you look back to your data, what happened in the past, try to um, yeah, identify some patterns and then guess how it will be in the future. But um, yeah. For Bitcoin, we do not have so much data. Things change very quickly if you act as a lot of power. So um, we thought maybe it's a good idea to take a different approach. And uh, what we are doing with Bitcoin predictors, uh, we're trying to get some data from people who are influencing the price actually, so from the Bitcoin users. And um, we call this social forecasting. So the main idea is, uh, I, I think all of you have Bitcoins, all of you bought Bitcoins or sold Bitcoins. Um, and um, so you maybe have a good idea what happen will happen in the future. So what we are doing is we're asking you uh, what will be the price at a certain point of time. At the moment we do it week, uh, on a weekly base. Um, we ask you for the price and then if you think you can, uh, you can give an assessment, um, you click on, on, such a, on such an event and um, like you see here in the, um, the down right, um, we're asking for your assessment. And what's special is how we ask you. We're just asking you for an assessment, but uh, we ask you to, to put the wager additionally on it. <coughs> so meaning that you are betting on your assessment. And um, what's happening is that we want to force you to give an as precise, as precise assessment as possible. So um, I highlighted this in this video. You give a certain assessment from 280 to 780. Um, give a certain wager, you see in the bottom right the winning, and the more precise you are, the higher is your winning. And um, this additionally depends on how popular the assessment is. You see if you put the style to the very right, to a very uh, unrealistic prediction, the potential winning will be much, much higher. And that's the main idea from the system. Um, yeah, strengthen your, 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 your opinion by, by giving you, give you an um, incentive to be good. So we will later see, we will build a ranking, a ranking list. The first five players get uh, Bitcoins. And uh, so we want you to be as honest as possible, as accurate as possible. And yeah, it gets a lot of data. These assessments are aggregated in a certain way. Um, it's somehow weighted. Here you see a very loose prediction uh, between somewhere 800 and 950. And um, if the system starts running, more and more uh, assessment will be collected and um, aggregate this to an, yeah, to an overall forecast of all participants. You see this is a very precise prediction. You see those predictions have very, very strong weight in the system. And um, yeah, somehow you have an, yeah, a special, uh, special area where you have the highest weight 
and this is our prediction. Um, as you can see, at the moment, we have not that much users, so um, it's a bit, yeah, sometimes we have some peaks, it's not a uh, not perfect distribution, but as you see, you have a very, very precise prediction, like here, somewhere around 600, it's dominating all the others, and uh, this is our prediction, yeah. Um, all these weekly predictions, we, uh, we are connecting to a 12 weeks forecast, as I already mentioned, we start at the beginning of August. We have around 100 users, 40 to 50 are participating in a regular base. So sometimes it's sufficient if just one, one, one person may can make a joke, joke vote to push the Bitcoin price to, I don't know, $1,200, dollars which <coughs> I, yeah, I think it's not true, but yeah, just shows how the system works. Um, yeah, as I already mentioned, to, to give you an incentive to um, to bet as, as good as possible. Um, we give bitcoins to the, to the rest of the participants, first five ranks, and uh, yeah. So we run it for four weeks, and as you see, the results could somehow be a little bit, bit, bit better and more precise. For instance, the uh, August uh, 17th bet uh, were totally uh, off the uh, real value, but um, as you see here in the prediction, uh, distribution. It was just one person who made a very accurate uh, uh, assessment two weeks before when we were around 600, and all the others who thought, okay, maybe we'll be will be uh, below this around 490, where it really was, had enough weight to yeah, overweight this. Yeah. So, in a nutshell, this is the introduction to Bitcoin Predict. I guess maybe you have some questions. Yes, please. Price, what's the price going to be in one month? Um, just look in the system. Um, <laughs> you know it's right there. Um, at the moment, uh, I think it's good predictions are for next uh, for the next two weeks. Uh, four weeks is too too far in the future, and people are hesitating to give their assessment to this because they have to learn a little bit how the system works and to recognize that it is an advantage if you be a first mover and give your assessments early. At the moment, we have. 70 to 80 percent of oil beds just on the next week. So um, yeah, at the moment it's too too early to say how it will be in a month, how the price will be in one month. But maybe in two or three months we are able to provide uh, these predictions too. Erla, do you um, do you provide this data to um, any kind of trading houses? Are they interested in getting this kind of you know this as some type of a data feed that they could use as part of their trading strategy? Mm -hmm. Um, not yet, but this is possible, yes. Um, but you have to be careful. Um, if, you, if you connect this to, to strongly with real trading, then uh, there's an incentive to, to, to manipulate this. You can easily manipulate this system. It's hard to manipulate the Bitcoin price. So if you have a strategy based uh, on, this, uh, on this kind of data, it could be risky at the moment because we have just 100 users and it's very easy to, yeah, with one or two fake accounts, uh, make some peaks in. Uh, do you also, you know, you know, like for example, is this on? Is this on? Yes, yes, yes. You have to speak in. Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right. Um, for example, like with something like eToro, where they have um, individual traders that you can sort of follow. Um, are you able to maybe um, look at individuals or kind of group individuals into groups where? Like you mentioned, that, that one person who made a more accurate uh, prediction. Are there people who, for example, are consistently better at predicting than others? Yeah. So um, there's a kind of self calibrating mechanism in it. So you're betting a virtual currency. If you are correct, you're getting more money. And if you got more money, you have more influence. And uh, so this is a uh, yeah, okay. kind of implicit uh, calibration. What we could do is that we say, OK, we ask for some information. For instance, from which country are you? What are you? What's your background? How many bitcoins do you trade? And try to uh, to cluster the data somehow. But um, this is interesting for analyzing these distributions. If you look at this picture, then you could just yeah uh, highlight certain certain actors and say okay maybe the investor think okay we are more there the bitcoin miners think we will be there and so you can could show if there is an yeah uneven distribution or the same opinion or who's dominating the, uh, 
the predictions. So um, yeah, there are some 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 things uh, we could do. Yeah. And are they are they providing? I'm sorry if I missed this, but are they providing um, you access into like their into the some of the some of the sites have trading APIs. I'm not sure if they allow you just to do like read only, but are you able to get access into like their actual trading patterns and kind of match that against what their thought process is around the, the predictions? So we should use their trading patterns or provide our data for, for them? Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, because I haven't looked at the website, so I, I don't know exactly like how okay. the app works, but if, okay, if you asked me um, on September 15th, what is going to be the price of Bitcoin, right? And I say, well, I think it's going to be 500, uh, but in the meantime, I'm also trading in and out of Bitcoin, uh, into maybe altcoins or US dollars or euros or whatever, um, looking at my trading patterns versus like what my perception is and how, uh, you know, how I'm actually behaving. Okay. You probably need futures for that. Yeah. But at the moment, we have no connection to any service, but uh, yeah, it could be a nice idea for the future. Yeah. markets uh, are distributing information and uh, this, uh, this uh, prediction is the kind of information you use but at the end of the day you have a real Bitcoin price so you can influence it as much as you want if people uh, if people realizing that uh, yeah uh, the actual prediction is maybe not to 100% what it will be in, uh, in the past I was right in my intuition or something like this people start learning and yeah go against it and uh, they just see, see the aggregated prediction not the distribution graph, so yeah, it's hard to, to get all the information that's contained in there. So you're saying that because you have fine-grained distribution graph, you have to actually have multiple predictions that people choose from? Um, yes, maybe, yeah. <laughs> no worries. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, Sebastian, uh, thank you for uh, uh, giving your presentation and flying all the way from Denmark or Berlin. Berlin, okay. Uh, oh, then it's by train, I guess. Sir? Then, then it's not flying, but by train, I guess. Uh, back to uh, Mama now. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So uh, uh, thank you uh, for being here. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, we will have a small break, uh, get some coffee and tea, and then we're going to the next presentation. So, uh, be right back. Okay.